My name is Emmy Klein, and I am on my second year of showmanship, and I am a beginner. Okay, go ahead. His ears are clear, and his ear tag is B R U. His eyes are clear. His nose has no snuffles. His teeth are clear. He has no broken toes. His stomach does not have any lumps on it. His tail is not broken. And he is a boy. Bruno is a, a four month old hollow mop. And, and his color is tort. And he has rolled back fur. And what I like about Bruno is whoops, he has a good crown. His ears are good in length. And his body type is thick. What would you change about Bruno if you could change anything? If I would change anything about Bruno, I would want him to be bigger because he would be more, like, better at showing. How does, does he do pretty good with his posing? Yes, he usually, every, on an everyday basis, he lifts up his head, and that's why I like him a lot. My name is Jacob Rush, and today I will be showing you a junior showmanship demonstration. So today, so I just finished fifth grade, and I will be going into sixth grade. My rabbit is a Holland Lop, and his color is a bloke, broken black tort. Now, he is almost two years old, and he'll be two years old couple of weeks and he is a male and he is in class four and to read his tattoo it should be in the left ear and his tattoo is M1 something I like about him is how his crown is like shaped, um, shaped and all squared out and I think it's pretty amazing about it My name is Tyler Thrush and I am done with fifth grade and I'm going into sixth grade. So my breed of this rabbit is a uh, hollow up. Her color is a broken chestnut and her age is two years old. The gender of this rabbit is a female or a doe. She is a class four rabbit and Emma Prager. This is my third year in 4A and today I'm going to present you my senior Polish Buck Wilbur. First I'm going to check his ears for mites, tattoos, or if there's any tears in his ear. His tattoo number is BB35. Next I'm going to check his teeth for any malocclusion. Now I'm going to check his eyes for any discoloration or blindness. 
Now I'm gonna check his nose for any discharge. Now I'm gonna check his toenails to see if there's any broken toenails. There's five on the front feet and four on the back. Now I'm gonna check his hock on the front feet and the back feet to see if there is any sores or any bare areas. Now I'm gonna make sure his legs are straight and not bent, bowed, or cow hocked. Now I'm making sure he doesn't have any abscess on his belly or his chest. And there is none. And I'm making, and I'm verifying that he is a male. And he is. Now I'm going to take his tail to make sure it's not screw-tailed or bob-tailed, and it is not. Now I'm checking his fur for any discoloration or molting. There is none. Thanks for watching me present my rabbit, Wilbur. My name is Molly Dick, and I am 10 years old, and I, and I just finished fourth grade, and I go to Hamilton Elementary School. And this is my four class gray mini lop rabbit. His name is Stormy. And his birthday was in the middle of December and he is seven months old. My favorite part about this rabbit right here is that he is very calm and he trusts me a lot. So I think this will be a good rabbit for the year. So this is his ear. His tattoo number is JWZ and his ear is clean. And then here's his eye. There's his eye. And it has no blurriness, so he is not blind. And then this is his nose. And then we're going to get to his teeth. That is his teeth. He does not have malcussion because an malcussion is when the teeth overlaps and they aren't healthy. So he's been eating healthy. And then and then this is his one of his legs it is not broken. This is his not broken. And his toes are not broken. And his doe toe is not broken either. And then this is his other leg. It is not broken. And then his toes aren't broken either. And then this is his tummy. And he it has no bumps or blemishes. And then this is his back leg. It is not broken. And his back paw. And toes are not broken. This leg isn't broken either. And that is not broken. Okay. Give me a break now.
And that is his gender. And then the tail. It is not broken or stubbed and is very fluffy. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alexis Kinger, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a Junior Doe Dutch Rabbit. And I go to Fremont, I live in Fremont, Indiana. My club is Fremont Ready, Willing, and Able. I am seventh grade, and here we go. So first off, you want to start by looking in the ear to make sure there are the proper tattoos. No chunks of ear are missing, and no ear mites. Next, we're going to flip it over. For next, we're going to look at the teeth to make sure that there's no one missing or none are chipped and there are not an underbite. And then we're going to look at the eyes to make sure there's no gray and make sure they're not blind, no discharge or anything. And then the nose, we're going to make sure there's no discharge, and we're going to make sure they don't have a cold, and we're going to make sure that there's no natted hair by it. Then we're going to look at the nails. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to look at the toe, the legs, and we're going to say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to make sure there's no sores or anything on the bottoms of their feet, no bleeding or anything, and we're going to make sure the legs are intact. Okay. And we're going to make sure the leg, bottom two legs are all good. All good and then we're gonna make sure there's no masses or tumors in the stomach all good there then we're gonna make look at the sex of the animal it is a female we're gonna flip it back over We're going to make sure the surface coat is all the right color. We're going to make sure the undercoat is all the right color. And we're going to check the ring coat, right color. And we're going to check the tail to make sure it's not broken or it has no, it's not swaying to one either side. And then that is it. So this is my rabbit. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Not good. Hello, my name is David Claudi, and this is my cream detergent dough. So first, we're going to go ahead and check on the ears to make sure they're not broken or lopsided. We're going to check inside the ears to make sure there's no discharge or ear cronker. We're going to go ahead and check in the left ear to make sure the ear tattoo is there, and, and that is CH2. We're gonna go ahead and look at the eyes to make sure there's no cloudiness or any discharges of any type that may indicate she's going blind or has some sort of infection in her eye. Now I will flip her. We're gonna go ahead and check her nose to make sure there's no discharge that could indicate snuffles. We're gonna go ahead and check her teeth to make sure there's none too long, too short, damaged, bent, broken. We're gonna go ahead and check her dewlap just to make sure there's no abscesses or anything out of the ordinary down there. I'm going to go ahead and pull on her front legs just to make sure that they are working and not broken or damaged in any way. I'm going to go ahead and check her pads, her front pad, to make sure there's no sores and that there's no signs of snuffles. I'm going to go ahead and count her toes and uh, make sure that they are the right size, uh, shape, and color. One, two, three, four, Duclaw. One, two, three, four, dew claw. I'm gonna go ahead and check her belly to make sure there's no signs of abscesses or hernias. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pull on her um, hind legs to ensure that they're not broken or damaged. I'm gonna go ahead and check her um, back feet to ensure there's no signs of sore hocks. I'm gonna check her toes once again to make sure they're the correct size, shape, and color. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to check her gender to ensure that she really is a female. So. She is indeed. I'm gonna roll her fur to check the fur type. Then I will blow in her fur to make sure the ring color is appropriate for her gender. Also, to check the tail to ensure that it's not broken or damaged in any way. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jessica Thrush, and I just finished eighth grade. Today, I will be going through the senior showmanship. Here, I have a Holland Lop rabbit. His color is black torque. I will be going through the steps on how to take care of your rabbit. First, you want to place your middle finger between his crown and his two ears, and you want to flip him. They'll squirm at first, but just kind of pet him and make sure they're okay. First, you want to check his eyes for cloudiness or any discoloration, and you want to make sure they're the proper color for this rabbit. The proper color for a Holland Lop rabbit is brown with black pupil. If their eyes are okay, then you move on to their nose. You want to make sure he doesn't have snuffles, which can indicate a cold, or you want to make sure it's not runny or dripping, because that could also indicate an illness. Next, you want to move on to his teeth. What you want to do is you want to get the rabbit stable, so he's not scared. to the stomach. You kind of just pet the stomach and feel around. If you feel any lumps or bumps, then that can mean the rabbit has a tumor or some other illness. Then you want to move on to the back feet. You just want to make sure the rabbit's stable so he doesn't freak out and pull on his back feet. If it's not broken, you go to the back claws. You should have four. One, two, three, Flyback or a rollback? All Hollands are rollbacks, so he is. 